Welcome to another session of General Mathematics. This is your teacher, John Glenn S. L. Mario. Today, we will be discussing compound interest. After going through this lesson, you are expected to compute the principal, compute the maturity value, and solve real-life problems involving compound interest. Let us start today's session with a prayer. Now everyone, let's bow down our heads and feel the presence of our Lord. Almighty Father, we thank you for the blessings that you continue to give us. May you guide us throughout the entire session so that the lessons that will be discussed to us will help us improve oneself and therefore take us one step closer to achieving our dreams. This we pray in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Now, let's have a review of our previous lesson. What is the principle? It is the amount of money borrowed or invested. What is maturity value or future value? It is the amount after T years that the lender receives the borrower on the maturity date. What is interest? Amount paid or earned for the use of money. What is simple interest? Interest that is computed on the principal then added to it. Now, we proceed to the lesson proper, compound interest, denoted by the variable I sub C. Interest that is computed on the principal and also on the accumulated past interest. Normally, they are used for long-term loans. IC is equal to F minus P. IC as the compound interest, P for the principal, and F for future value. Now, let's try to uh, compare the formula for future value of compound interest. For compound value, I mean for future value, we have F is equals to P multiplied by 1 plus R raised to T. And for the principal, P is equals to F over quantity 1 plus R raised to T. F would be our future value. P would be for the principal, R is the rate in decimal, and T is the time in years. Now, example. Find the maturity value and compound interest if 10,000 pesos is compounded annually at an interest rate of 2% in 5 years. First of all, to deal with this problem, we need to identify the given just like in the previous lesson so what are the given so we have this 10,000 which is our principal next rate of 2% convert it into decimal which gives us 0 0.02 then we have this 5 years for our T step 2 identify what is being asked we are we need to compute for the future value or the maturity value and also for the compound interest next let's solve using the formula f is equals to p multiplied by 1 plus r raised to t all we have to do is to substitute the values we should be able to get 11,000 and 40 pesos and 81 centavos but how about the compound interest all we have to do to solve for the compound interest is to subtract the principal from the future value since we all have already computed the future value we just have to substitute the answer and what will we get here is 1000 40 and 81 centavos did you get it okay 
next. For this one, let's try to compare aside compound interest and simple interest. On the left here, you see here that they have both uh, given P is equals to 10,000, R is equals 2%, and T is equals to 5 years. Same with compound interest and simple interest. We're going to use both uh, both these all these values on both equations for future value I already have computed it earlier I have obtained a future value of 11,040 and 81 and for the interest I got 1,040 and 81 cents if I use this these values on the simple interest if I substitute it it would give me a future value of 11,000 and an interest of 1000 as you can see during the in the same in the same year or the same amount of time the future uh, compound interest has accumulated uh, more interest compared to simple interest that's why compound interest is used in long term loans next Find the maturity value and the compound interest if 50,000 pesos is invested at 5% annually for 8 years. In order, to, in order for us to solve this, we need first to identify the given. We have here 50,000 as our principal. Next, we have 5% which will be our rate. Again, don't forget, divide it to 100 to get the decimal counterpart. Next, we have for the time, 8 years. Next, we identify what's being asked. We are asked for the maturity value and the compound interest. Next, we solve the problem using the formula. Future value is equals to the product of the principal and the the sum of quantity 1 plus the rate raised to the time. Since I already have PRT here, all I have to do is to substitute it to the equation. Then I have obtained 73,872.77 pesos. That would be for our future value. How about for the compound interest. We use the formula I sub C is equals to F minus P. By subtracting P from F, I will obtain a value, of, you should obtain a value of 23,872.77 and that would be our answer for compound interest. Did you get it? Good. Next, how much money should a student place in a time deposit in a bank that pays 5.5% compounded annually so that he will have 200,000 pesos in 6 years? Now, let's analyze the problem. So what's being asked here is the money that the student will place in a bank. So therefore, we are being asked for the principal and by that being said we are now ready to identify the given first we have this 5.5 percent that would be our rate next 200,000 would be our future value next time would be six years next we are being asked for the principal or the money that should be deposited in a bank. Next, we solve it using the formula. P is equals to F over 1 plus R raised to T. All I have to do is to substitute these values. Then, you should get an amount of 145,049 pesos and 17 centavos. And that is our final answer. 
Next, in order to have 50,000 in 15 years, how much should you invest if the compound interest is 9.6%? Okay, again, step one, we identify the given. First, we have our future value, 50,000 pesos. We have here also the time, 15 years, and our rate would be at 9.6%. Next, we identify what is being asked, which is our principal. Then, we solve the problem using again the formula P is equals to F over 1 plus R raised to T. By substituting the values, we should obtain a value of 12,641.88 and that is our final answer. Now, let's have a recap of what we ha just have uh, learned. Compound interest are interest that is computed on the principal and also on the accumulated past interest. Here we have these formulas to guide us. For the future value, F is equals to P multiplied by 1 plus R raised to T. Then, for in order for us to obtain the principal, we need to use the formula P is equals to F over 1 plus R raised to T. Then, to compute for the compound interest, we need to subtract a principal from the future value. And now, it's time to practice. Get ready for the next battle. Okay. Let us complete the table uh, with the correct answers. Here are the three columns. We should supply the correct answer. Then also we need to solve this uh, pro worded problem. So since I've already taught you uh, how to compute for this, I, tr I trust my judgment that you'll be able to answer it. Okay, so you need to pa just pause the video, try to solve this, then after, after that, we'll check if your answers are correct. Okay, so good luck. I trust you. Good luck. A few moments later. And we're back. So let's see how how well did you do on this uh, practice session. For the first column, uh, for this one, we need to complete the table with the correct answer. So for the first uh, row, in order for me to solve this, I need first to have to solve for the future value since I already have the principal rate and time. So all I have to do is to apply the formula and by doing so, I'll be, you should be able to obtain a value of 5,075 and 38. Since I already uh, have obtained the future value, all I have to do is, is to subtract the principal in order for me to obtain the compound interest, which is equal to 75.38. Okay, good. Now, for, for the next uh, row, what I have here given is the future value, the rate, and time. So first, I need to solve for D principal which is equal to 61,891.08 once I already have that I could uh, I can already compute for the compound interest which is equal to 338,108.92 next same procedure like the first row all I have to do is to compute for D, first for D, future value, which is equal to 61,149.2. Then for the compound interest, subtract the principal from the future value, you should obtain the value of 11,149.2. For the worded problem, Suppose your father deposited in your bank account 10,000 pesos at an annual interest rate of 8% compounded yearly, kinder, uh, yearly kindergarten and did not get the amount until you finished grade 12. How much will you have in your bank account after 12 years? So here, 
we do this step by step. So step one, we identify the given. We have here 10,000 pesos as our principal. Then we have a rate of 8%. Then finally, we have the time which is 12 years. Then we identify what's being asked, which is the future value. Since I already have P, R, and T, I should be able to solve the problem using the formula. Substituting the values, you should obtain a value of 25,181.70. We're able to get it. Okay, good. And that concludes our session. Thank you very much for watching my video. I hope you learned something new today. Please subscribe to my channel and click the bell button for notifications. Should you have any questions or clarifications, you can send me a message through Messenger or an email through my Gmail account. And again, this is Sir Glenn saying, remember, trust the process. Bye guys, see you soon. If you live for something, you're not alone.